Hi Glendale, it's time for my take and make for this week and I'm hosting macrame jar holders. Um, in this video I will be showing you how to make a little sling for a tiny planter or candle holder or whatever you want to put inside of it that the jar will hold. Um, I'm using paracord for this because it's brightly colored. I've actually included brown jute rope in your kits because it works better for this craft. This is just more visible on camera. Not as effective uh, for the actual project, much more visible. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tie your jute rope into a, a loop with a big old knot at the end so that it forms a circle like this. And you're going to set it on your on your work surface. Step two, now that you've got your big circle, go ahead and pick up part of the circle and twist it in on itself once so you've got a circle within a circle. And right where those pieces cross, that's where you're going to set your jar. So you now, go ahead and take the top part of that circle and set it across the littler one so that it kind of makes a, a star situation. You should now have four intersecting loops. Take the topmost one and fold it over the piece that bisects it so that you get almost a butterfly or a bird shape. And that's going to form one side of your sling. You're going to pull that and pull it and pull it, not too tight so that the jar falls off, but wide enough so that you can pull the longest part of your loop over the two sides. And then you're going to take the two sides and do the same thing. You're going to fold them under that thread and give it a pull. And that's really all there is to it. The most fiddly bit about this is getting it to sit right in the sling. So you want to make sure that your sides are fairly even. So that it holds it evenly. And it doesn't, it's not any looser or tighter on any one side, because that will make your jar fairly unstable. But once you play around with it a little bit, um, once you've got all the sides even, you can tack it in place with a piece of tape or a piece of glue. It's a really fast craft and it, uh, has a really beautiful effect. So that's my craft this week. Thank you for joining me, and I hope y'all are doing alright this autumn. We miss you. Bye.